Hello there, it's Michael Fisher again with your weekly forecast on NetWeather.tv. It's a case of batting down the hatches, I think, in the week ahead. There's some stormy weather on the way. There will be some variability, such as days with severe gales, that's Sunday and Thursday. And there will be some quieter incidents, such as on Tuesday. We start with a weak region process on Saturday and a deep low winding itself up near Iceland. And a new centre from that swings down just to the north of Scotland on Sunday. Fronts across the country, bringing rain Saturday night and through into Sunday morning. But then by Monday, we're in a strong westerly flow, with the old low also swinging down towards Scotland, enhancing the, the, the winds and giving some scales or severe gales and bringing in colder weather. The winds actually ease on Monday as another ridge crosses the country, and the pattern repeats itself as another low comes down close to Scotland. On Tuesday, bringing further heavy rain and gales. A trough follows on Wednesday, enhancing those showers. And then another trough on Thursday, which will join with a further low over Scotland. So again, it's a case of more rain and gales. Surprise, surprise, the pattern repeats itself next weekend. As for the temperature of the atmosphere, each of those uh, lows introduces pockets of warm air, which is indicated by the orange colour there, such as on Saturday. Colder, that's green, sweeps back there on Sunday. Temporarily warmer again on Tuesday, and then colder air, even colder this time, with blue shading on Wednesday. And then temporarily milder on Saturday, but much colder weather, dark blue by then, indicating there will be some wintry weather around on Sunday. The jet, the jet surprisingly is over us or near us the whole week. It's going to get quite strong though towards the end of the week. Daily forecast, as for Saturday, it looks like mostly dry with sunny intervals in the south and east, but there will be rain into Ireland and much of Scotland and into the evening. The winds will be picking up at the same time, eventually I think gales in the west and north. Temperatures 5 to 9 degrees, 11 low over Ireland and the southwest of England. On Sunday, it looks as if rain going across all parts during the course of the night, and then it's going to be a windy day with sunny intervals. Mostly dry for England and Wales, but some showers around in Scotland, Northern Ireland, and northern parts of England. Gales in the west, and some longer spells of rain showing up in the north and west in the evening, by which time the winds could be touching severe gale force. And incidentally, I think it's probably going to be cold enough for some snow over the hills. When we move on to Monday, we're going to find uh, westerly gales around. These, as the day goes on, turning more northwesterly and eventually northerly. Could be quite strong, could even be severe gales along the North Sea coast. There'll be some showers around as well, but these should die out as the day goes on, more in the way of sunshine. But uh, certainly quite a cold wind then, but the wind easing in the evening at 5 to 8 degrees. Tuesday, more rain and gales coming along, reaching Ireland and western parts by dawn, and then sweeping east across the whole country during the day, with clearer weather following on behind. To all but the southeast of England. And in that clearer weather, there will be one or two showers, and some of those showers could be wintry over the hills. It is still going to be windy. Five to seven over Scotland and Northern Ireland, quite mild for most of England and Wales to begin with, at least at 11 or 12 degrees. Wednesday, windy again, with showers and longer periods of rain, some sunny intervals at first in the east, gales in the west, and again snow over the hills. 3 to 5 degrees, so quite cold in most places, 7 or 8 in the southeast. In fact, you could well find some sleety or wet snow showers almost anywhere that day. As for election day on Thursday, not many votes for the weather, I'm afraid. It looks like we had a pretty nasty day. It does look as if a band of rain, heavy rain at that, with gales in the west, will sweep across all parts during the course of the day. With some more clear weather following on behind, but perhaps not until the evening. And in that clear weather, there'll be some showers. There could well be gales as well in the you know, western parts of the country. As for the temperatures, uh, starting off quite mild in the east, but generally speaking, dropping back and feeling quite cold before the day's out at 5 to 7 degrees. Friday, surprisingly, it's going to be windy with gales in the west and uh, along the east coast. Sunny spells and scattered showers, generally speaking, the weather pattern and the wind should be easy as the day goes on.
at five to seven degrees. For well, Saturday, it's going to become very windy again, with some more gales returning, severe gales in the west and north, and some showers or longer outbreaks of rain, these chiefly in the north, probably mostly dry in the south. In fact, it's going to be cold enough for, I think, some quite nasty falls of snow over the Scottish mountains. 11 to 12 degrees in England and Wales, 3 or 4 Scotland and Northern Ireland, and a very similar day for uh, Sunday with some further heavy falls of snow over the Scottish mountains. Well, there we go then, not a very nice week, I'm afraid, some nasty stormy weather, there should be some, could be some hazards to travel and various other things, could be some flash floods too, there should be some really heavy rain around. And it looks as if that could well continue even after next weekend, but that's sticking the neck out, and of course you'll be asking me soon what's, where it's going to be like Christmas, but the answer is, I'm the face, are you? Anyway, that's all from me. Join me again next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.